a goal tonight and the winner in the shootout. You had four points last game. How high is your confidence right now? It's pretty good. You know, it, it sometimes takes a home stand to like, like this. You know, get the crowd behind you and, and a couple bounces to get yourself going. Another game where you guys put up 50 shots. Talk about the relentlessness of this team offensively lately. Yeah, I think this was our best effort in a while for, for the full 60. Um, you know, like I said, it's, it's been a big home stand for us. Uh, we were sliding a bit, but to be able to come back on home ice and, and feed off the crowd, it's, it's, it's been a nice uh, week or two. Every night, a different player stepping up to be a hero tonight. Maxine Mammon, two goals. When you look up and down this roster, how confident are you guys that every night somebody is going to step up and get the job done? Yeah, it seems that way. You know, he, he, he played unbelievable tonight. The composure he had, um, big goal for us late to give ourselves a good look in, the, in overtime and shootout. Congrats on the win and good luck on the road. Thanks, guys. Two goals for you tonight, and even when you weren't scoring, you looked like you had so much confidence with the puck and so much control. What felt so good about your game tonight, and how did you feel getting those two goals? Uh, thank you. I'm feeling like better game to game because if you're playing like more time, ice time, you start to feel more confidence, and it's helped help me. I feel good now. On that second goal, the one the face off, and then you just rifled that one time shot. Did you even see the puck, or are you just shooting as soon as it came? I just to you? Uh, heard like sound off the post, and that's it. Uh, Maxime, uh, you've been playing a lot with Anton Lundell recently. He won that face off on that second goal. You guys had a shift together in overtime that was really productive. Just how much are you guys working well together out there, you and Anton? Uh, of course, it's a great player, like Young, and. Uh, I just enjoy to play with him. And playing on that line, it seems like you guys have been getting a lot of chances the last couple of games. Have you been feeling, is some of that confidence coming from playing with those guys? Yes, yeah, sure. And, and a little bit about being now part of this team for a while. Um, has that been helping? I mean, you were away for a little bit and you were here for training camp and then went away. Now, now that you've been here for a little bit, has that helped you assimilate a little bit? Yeah, of course, it's helped me, like, uh, guys, like, always uh, talk to me, like, if I don't understand something, they tell me what to do, and it really helps helps me. Well, Sam, the last two games, it was big deficits. This game, it was a bunch of little one-goal deficits, but once again, talk about the resiliency your team showed, you know, coming back again and again and again tonight. Yeah, they're a tough team to play against. They, they don't give up much structurally. They're, they're very sound, and, and, and they play a tight game, and... Um, you know, I, I, I liked our determination tonight. We were able to stick with it, keep uh, keep battling through it, and, and uh, you know, we were able to get rewarded um, in the end. 50 plus shots again for you guys tonight, almost 150 the last three games. How much do you like how the offense is working right now? We talked about it before, you guys just seem to come in waves. Yeah, we, we, we try and play a fast game. Um, you know, we, we've we've got some you know pretty quick players, but when when we move the puck like we're capable of, um, you know, it's that much faster. So, um, you know, I like the way we did that tonight. Did you feel like throughout the game you guys were pretty much in control of the way you were playing, not the scoreboard, obviously, but yeah, we we felt comfortable. Um, you, you know, we felt it was our best six you know in a while, and and. Um, you know, you, you, you got to give credit to them. They're comfortable in those games, too. Um, they, they win a lot of them. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not really a shocker. It went down to, uh, to the wire in a shootout and could, could honestly go either way. But, um, you know, we got another big test against them in, in a couple of days. So, um, you know, I expect both teams to be ready for that one. You look up and down the lineup. You've had young players stepping up, different players stepping up. Carlson putting together a string of points. Lundell, Mammon tonight just... I know we just talked about this, but what can you say about the depth and the way that this team always, you know, is finding new players to contribute? Yeah, we, we feel we're at our best when we come in waves. We all want to play the same sort of game. Um, you know, I think guys are, are are starting to feel comfortable in that and, and, and you know, find their roles. And, 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 you know, it's a fun way to play when, when you've got that many guys that can contribute. And Anton Lundell picking up a couple of assists and scoring in the shootout. Anton, I want to go back to the last couple of minutes of that third period. You're going empty net. You're in the face-off circle. Take me through what was going through your head and then setting up Maxime Mammon for that tying goal in the third period. 
Yeah, it, it was just like a normal face-off, but then I saw that we took Bobby out of the net, and uh, yeah, then I just knew like it. now it's all in, and I got a good win, and Max Max had a pr- really good shot, and uh, it was great that we got a fast goal, and then then we just tried to battle us two points to that tonight. Yeah, Anton, it's a good face-off win. It's Jovo here going into the uh, going into the shootout. Are you thinking as a young player? And and we talk about it all the time. By no means does it look like you're playing like a 20 year old. You look like you've been in this league 10 years. And it's been great to see. But going into the shootout, are you thinking Deke? Are you thinking shot? Or is it something that you saw in Huso before the game about your shootout goal? I uh, actually know Huso pretty good. Uh, he played in IFK in Helsinki. Uh, same same uh, team as I played. It was just a little a few years before me there so I've seen him a lot and he's a really good goalie but uh, today I knew I had a good move and uh, and I did it yeah I figured that maybe in the summer hockey that you'd light him up quite a bit <laughs> that you uh, <laughs> that you took advantage of that low shot <laughs> uh, yeah I, kn- I knew how he plays but uh, it was go. really really nice to to get an opportunity to sh- go out on a shootout today Anton, you guys have obviously been playing without your captain, Alexander Barkov. We talked about it before, also without Anthony Duclair. But you guys have taken care of business. How much do you feel as a group, each one of you has really challenged yourselves to step up and elevate your game and really showcase the depth of this team? Yeah, of course. Like, every game is a new opportunity to everybody to show. And uh, we just work as a team. We do everything as a team and support each other and just try to have some fun. And uh, now, now we have been playing pretty good. Uh, the start of the games, uh, Washington and Buffalo wasn't that good, but the comeback was really good. And today I think uh, it was a really, really hard game and we did pretty good and we battled all the way to the end. Yeah, last thing for, for me, Anton, is heading out on the road you know, facing St. Louis on Tuesday. How big was these two points before heading out on the road? Yeah, of course, every every game is huge here, but uh, me and uh, I think everybody else just try to think one, go one he- game ahead and not take it that far ahead. And um, yeah, now we know the next game is, uh, I think on Tuesday, have to <laughs> check it, but yeah, we just go day by day. We appreciate the time, Anton. Congratulations on the win and an excellent game by you. Thank you so much. Thank you. you really have on the record wise, you haven't missed it. Well, we miss them for sure. Um, but no, we've we've had other guys step up. You know, I think Benny's relished that that first line role, and and Lusty's played. Uh, Lusteranian's played uh, really good up the middle, and Jumbo Jumbo's line tonight was uh, was really good and on the puck, and they're making plays. So I think everybody, um, we talked to Lundy, and everybody stepped up, and then that's what good teams and hopefully a great teams are are able to do. David Wilson, Miami Herald. Bruno, uh, obviously you guys have been good at home all year. How important was it to finish this home stand with, with three wins here? Now you got a little stretch here on the road. Yeah, I mean, that really enjoy. Let's, let's enjoy this one. Um, it wasn't easy, never easy against St. Louis. Um, it's been forever, it feels like. feels like I've gone against them for 30 years, you know, being in the same division, playing and, and coaching against them. They're, they're a hard team to play against and uh, they don't give you much room and they're so strong around their net. So it was really good to end the homestand um, or a little bit of a home. I know we went away for one from Wash, but ending on the win is always, uh, you know, the best way to end those things. And um, now our focus after, you know, enjoy it today and tomorrow. And But Monday, we got to be a little bit better on the road. We haven't been great, in my opinion, here so far this year on the road. Mike DePasquale, WSVN. Coach, is the advantage right now, the way we've seen the boys play, comeback wins, three straight games, the depth that you have, still with Barkey and Duke out? Uh, yeah, that, for sure. Yeah, the, the depth that we have throughout the lineup um, is a blessing, you know, <laughs> for an organization and, and um, for a coaching staff. So, um, and in saying that, um, when opportunity arises, you know, you still have to be ready to, to take advantage of it. And we've had some guys that really have stepped their game up here. If I could follow up 50 plus shots tonight, is, is, do you want this to be the MO of your team where you can roll any line out and you're just going to keep attacking? 
Well, I think it's the MO of any coach in the league. Um, you know, so I think, you know, I think the MO for our group is is um, when we have the puck, let's keep it, and when we don't have it, let's work really hard to get it back. Well, Thank you, coach. You, You're welcome. You, you uh, said, I, I don't know, correct quote, but you talk about either. A good team, or uh, you're trying to prove you're a great team. Where, where, where do you see the ceiling on this? The, the way you're playing. I think the ceiling's the limit. You know, with this group, um, you know, there's obviously huge tests. We've been answering them. I think the last, um, you know, throughout last year was a huge stepping stone for uh, our group. And you know, this year we saw how hard it is to. You know, we had to go against the Tampas so many times last year, and um, that was a great learning curve for us that how hard and how, how we have to play. And I think, you know, talking to these guys at the end of the year last year and, and right from the of camp, I think they really recognize that and they're taking upon themselves to, to be a great team. And we're quarter of the way through. There's lots of work do, to do, but I think each day we're, we're putting another block in the foundation here to get better. You had 50 plus shots, but you're facing a goaltender who stopped 48 of them. I mean, how do you adjust your game to a goaltender that's controlling his rebounds well and making those saves to overcome that and get the win? Well, you keep putting pucks on them, and we did that today, and uh, you know, eventually something's going to go in. I thought we had great, I, I mean, I thought he played excellent because um, I thought we did have pretty good traffic. Um, you know, a little bit of puck luck maybe, um, but he made some huge saves. And, and, and credit to them, like I said a little earlier, they, they, it's, it's hard to get inside on the St. Louis Blues. And uh, they make you pay the price inside. I thought we did. We didn't really get rewarded to it. But it was a great challenge for us to try to get inside and try to get those loose pucks.